scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. In back home on Sunday I preached a message called the purified church and um, for those of you who were able to follow it was a clarion call to the body of Christ and I want to request this morning please as much as you can please go on YouTube I want you to get that message and listen to it. It should be one of those messages that you not only listen to, but you treasure and archive. It will help your life. Hallelujah. Essentially, it was a call to greater levels of purity, greater levels of refinement, even by the Spirit. And um, in that teaching, I did reveal by the Spirit seven deadly sins that are plaguing the church global, the church in Africa, and even the church in Nigeria to the end that God will help us to purge ourselves and to be vessels of honor. The Bible says, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure, having this seal that the Lord knoweth them that are his and let every man that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity he says but in a great house there are all kinds of vessels gold silver wood clay he says some vessels are unto honor and some vessels are unto dishonor he says if a man will purge himself that man will be a vessel unto honor meet for the master's use hallelujah and um, I'm not teaching on that today but I just thought that um, in addition to what we'll be hearing this morning it is very very important but probably just a one minute recap of the seven sins now when I teach and challenge the body of Christ it is not from a standpoint of self-righteousness for we are all products of God's mercy. The true character of administering teachings that purify the body is that we ourselves, we must know that all be it. At the end of these seven teachings, our seven uh, description, there is nobody who stands in self-righteousness believing there is nothing to adjust in. You see, when you really want to grow and serve God acceptably, you must love the honor of being right with God more than the honor of preserving your reputation. It is usually fashionable to act in a position of blamelessness and self-righteousness, but it will only lead to self-deception. This, this is the cancer that has destroyed the mighty. We are not mighty because we are blameless. We are mighty because we are helped by God hallelujah and so every time as a man of god when you teach and challenge people make sure you are not just pointing fingers at them make sure you are god is using you to speak to everybody 
I have listened to that teaching two or three times myself even though I'm the one who preached it is someone learning already let me just run through the seven the seven scenes with you that's not our discussion but just to start now I, I really want you to take out time to listen because I did share in that teaching that the way God matures and purifies the church is through a scriptural blend of commendations and corrections every time the spirit of the Christ in his purity is administering purging to the body it is never about correction and condemnation alone it is always a blend of commendation God is always attentive to the things that we do that are right and he will always be fair enough to pat us at the back to say well done and then he will now point to you the areas where you need and this is the structure that must be used in mentoring and building people when your ministry captures only commendation you are going to produce a weak and a flattered people who will not be able to grow into stature and maturity at the flip side when your ministry is full of pointing fingers and condemnation you will discourage people are we together you see that written in the seven churches when you read revelations you see that the church in ephesus he begins with them he says i know your work that you have tried those who claim that they are apostles and you have found them liars i commend you for this however i have this against you that you have left your first love return to me so he goes to the church in smyrna he goes to the church in pagamos he begins to go to the churches commending them are we together so in that teaching i took out time to commend the nigerian the african church and even the church global for its immense contribution it's impossible to say the church is not doing anything it's an indictment on the ministry of the holy spirit however it still does not mean that the church does not need purging because the bible says in john 15 that when you bear fruit the gift you receive is pruning so that you will bear much fruit seven deadly sins number one is the sin of immorality and related perversions the lord challenged us extensively on this sexual immorality number one but other immoral perversions masturbation pornography all kinds of things that this is a cancer i did say that that cancer it does not care whether you're an apostle you are a prophet does not care whether you're a prayer warrior fasting giant word addict no i did explain a few psychological things that you may want to listen to there are many people who are dying in silence and i did suggest a, a five-step approach for complete liberty from all of this hallelujah any and all kinds of immoral uh, challenges in the life of an individual number one that you have to admit it for if you do not admit that there is a problem that needs correction you cannot be helped number two is that you must dedicate time alone with god time of brokenness and repentance psalm 51 the psalm of david crying out his heart in repentance after he encountered prophet nathan you go to verse 17 and he prayed the bible says the sacrifices of god are a broken heart are we together yes and number three seek help to seek help from trusted people who have demonstrated grace and psychological maturity number four you must create rules and boundaries around your life most times in the church we stop at point three we do not create rules and boundaries the bible says a man who does not have a watch over his spirit is like a city without walls and then number five you connect to a larger body of believers community kingdom living is the key to sustaining kingdom values hallelujah and then number two scene number two that i did discuss in that teaching is the lust for money and material things the second sin and cancer that the body of Christ must be purged by the obsession that lost for money 
when the loss for money and material things become the drive for your life it will manipulate the messages you preach it will manipulate your character it will manipulate your approach it will corrupt the purity of your pursuit this is even true for men of God you may have heard me say when I started ministry I didn't know that there was anything called honorarium I didn't know that a man of God would preach and you can carry a basket of banana or a cooler with rice or ten naira to put in his hand it was never and will never be the pursuit are we together it's very very important the lust for money I believe in prosperity materialism is not having materials materialism is the influence of materials over your relationship with God you see you don't have to have money to be materialistic you can be poor and materialistic the dominion of money and the obsession for things if and when it replaces your passion for God then you are in trouble the first law of wealth is not tithing the first law of wealth is not giving the first law of wealth is the law of total surrender they gave themselves unto God first before their resources the Macedonian church sin number three that I did discuss there it's witchcraft and extra biblical practices this is the third sin that the body of Christ in Nigeria extends to Africa and then world over needs to be purged the sin of witchcraft and extra biblical practices in terms of purity of call and service there are three groups especially of people in the church and men of God number one there are people who are called the pure breed those who love God sincerely and have worked in keeping with divine patterns number two there are those who are sincere they are pure in heart but either by the reason of inaccurate mentorship or pressure they have submitted themselves to people associations and fraternities that have corrupted the purity of their call and their grace either in search for power out of frustration for ministry not working and so on and so forth and then the third category are people who were never in the fold from the first place are we together witchcraft and extra biblical practices that for you to be able to capture the intent of God um, wholly to his people you must subscribe to the modus operandi as provided and allowed by scripture the believer is not just one who believes in Jesus the believer is one who has bound himself to the boundary of scripture it is very very important number four the fourth sin that the body of Christ needs to be purged from is pride vainglory and self-centeredness pride vainglory self-centeredness are we together what is pride pride is the ashamedness to acknowledge God and others as contributors to who you are where you are the moment you become uncomfortable acknowledging God the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding are we together it says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path verse 6 says uh, verse 7 says be not wise in your own understanding but fear the Lord and turn away from evil praise God way before the sin of witchcraft way before the sin of immorality was the sin of pride it's a very old sin very old sin pride there are different levels of pride there is what the Bible calls the pride of life the pride of life is the self glorification you accord yourself by reason of obvious results if you don't have obvious results you can have pride but not the pride of life the pride of life is based on obvious results and achievements when I entered in here um, Reverend Dan was asking people to celebrate me and calling me all kinds of wonderful names and I saw many of you clapping and I can imagine many of you admiring that thing 
and as wonderful and lovely as that is some of you that can become your drive in this kingdom God is not interested in celebrities God is interested in ambassadors the difference between a celebrity listen 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 the difference between a celebrity and an ambassador is purpose everything we have and we are in this kingdom does not have a relevance in itself except it is connected to kingdom come are we together knowledge revelation beauty whatever the beauty of Esther is useless until she can use that beauty to get to the palace and save God's people the skill of Daniel is useless until he can use it to accent the position of power and preserve the purposes of God even in Babylon so in this kingdom nothing is worth celebrating in itself until we see how it contributes to kingdom come are we together you have to learn this because there is a lot of nonsense flying around especially from we men of God we make some of these mistakes sometimes and we do not know pride there are three indices to measure pride in a man's life number one we learn the first mistake from Elijah I am the only one the moment you allow the devil deceive you that you are the only one getting it right you are already in pride it is impossible since the dispensation of the Holy Spirit there was never a time in any any you don't read it from the Bible where there was such decadence and only one person was found no you can find that in the Old Testament but since the Holy Spirit was poured upon all flesh to believe that only one person or one church or one man of God is getting it right is an indictment on the ministry of the Holy Spirit. It is impossible. Are we together now? Elijah made that mistake and he said, I am the only one. No, Obadiah had kept many others that he did not know. So by the time you begin to convince yourself that in Enugu or in Southeast, I am the only one getting it right. And it's a temptation that affects all men. Chances are excellent that because of the bias you have for what you communicate, you can believe you are the only one getting it right. No. Remember, there is Anna the prophetess. She may not be seen, but she's the reason why Jesus came. She prayed him down quietly in the temple. Before Jesus was shown to other people, there were two strange prophets hiding in the temple. You can look at your YouTube and television and see the Joshua Selmans. They are the ones you know, but they are not the only ones there. Far from it. Far from it. Let me tell you, there are giants and warriors who are nameless and faceless, but are doing so much. In fact, it is because of some of these people that we still stand. I, are you, you, must, you, must, you must throw away pride and admit it. It is the truth. I've had the honor of meeting people as I travel around the nations and as I have the privilege of talking with people and my God, you stand close to these people, you can feel the palpable glory of God, a testament of genuine work with God. And sometimes those people will come to you for prayer and you are wondering who should pray for whom. But you see, the spirit of pride will make you full of yourself. The Bible says in Acts chapter 18 about a man called Apollos of Alexandria. The Bible tells us that this man was eloquent in scripture. He was fervent in spirit. He was taught the way of the Lord. But he knew only the baptism of John. You can be great but you know only. Are we together? So because of the excellency of your dispensing the dimension given to you, you can believe that you are the only one who knows it all it's impossible this revelation immediately helps you to be able to appreciate the diversity in the body without being ashamed you see that this unity is largely caused by pride largely caused by pride the foundation for this unity of the body in any territory is the, uh, is the concept of self-righteousness and pride and even vainglory. So pride, vainglory and self-centeredness. Scene number five 
is God helping someone already the fifth sin that I thought that needed to be purified from the body of Christ is the sin of the tongue this includes everything the tongue can produce lying gossip backbiting seeds of discord is a very deadly sin in the body of Christ you see most times we think that these sins do not carry any effect in the realm of the spirit if you gossip and backbite it won't get a woman pregnant if you gossip and backbite it will not give somebody HIV so you can easily think you are free or standing in a position of righteousness because there are other sins that seem to carry obvious physical consequences but it is a deadly sin are we together there are people in the body of Christ in Nigeria and Africa and around the world who just join the heads of people together and stand back and watch people, churches, men of God. In every region you will find people like this and it ought not to be so. How about lies? We lie a lot as men of God. We have to pray that God will show us mercy. We lie with stories. We exaggerate miracles. We say things that did not happen. Are we together? many years ago and not to be sarcastic i remember yes quite a long time a man of god who was you know preaching and quite a you know an elderly man and so you would not expect that kind of lie you can expect that from young people but not from someone who is a veteran in the gospel and he said someone was paralyzed of course i know we're sincere it doesn't mean we are just men and that's why we need mercy are we together and I remember him making a statement like someone was paralyzed who was brought to him and he healed one leg, he healed the other leg, he healed the other hand and he said he will leave the other hand and the neck until he's ready to receive Jesus and you know, it's not true. It's not true. It's not to be sarcastic but it's not true. Let's be honest, it's not true. But you see, even God understands. So God, if God tolerates us with all our nonsense, why should we not be able to tolerate others? It's not true. You, you are spiritual. You know the truth when you hear it. So we need the mercy of God. I did say at the end of that teaching that at the end of that teaching, all of us will need the blood of Jesus. That's how you will know that the Spirit of God came to purify because nobody stands out different. Everybody will have cause to cry before him and say, Lord, show me mercy. Lying is not good, but it's, it's a weakness in men. Are we together? Lying, gossiping, backbiting, sowing seeds of discord. It's dangerous. The sin of the tongue. He said, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable, be acceptable, be acceptable. Scene number six that we discussed was competition and unhealthy comparison. The spirit of competition and unhealthy comparison. It's a dangerous scene that must be eroded from the body of Christ competition the bible says and they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise and there are many people who do that unconsciously competition it ought not to be and the seventh sin that i spoke about is the sin of imbalance the inability to embrace the whole counsel of god no single dimension of god captures all of him no matter how accurate and aligned you are it is not given to you as an individual to capture and reveal all the dimensions of god it then renders every other ministry in the body useless so god by himself will limit your access you will be a beneficiary of all the dimensions of god but not from you you will have to depend on other supplies that the body provides for your completeness. Are we together now? It's very, very important. No matter how anointed, no matter how great, no matter how sincere Benihin is, Benihin will never be able to accurately teach you on marriage, relationship, and family life the way someone who is called into that area will do. Now, it doesn't mean he's ignorant, but he's just not specified in his job description. 
are we together you can learn from him but if you ignore the person called to operate in that dimension you will miss out in so many areas imbalance one aspect of imbalance is exaggerating truth beyond its scope of relevance I will always give the example of cooking if you carry if you fetch one mudu of rice and you fetch one mudu of salt and mix them in the pot did you cook well but is salt needed but not to the quantity of the rice is that true that's right so the truth in scripture are all important but they have their dimensions and their jurisdiction of relevance and if you stretch those truth beyond the proportion that should be is going to cause a serious colossal damage even to the body of Christ hallelujah we must embrace the whole counsel of God if you embrace consecration and holiness and purity but you ignore excellence and administration and financial prosperity that dimension you ignored will be the gate that will allow the devil to haunt you in the future if you embrace excellence and administration and mental transformation and you leave away consecration and prayer you are going to get into trouble you can build a business and one demonic attack like the flood of Noah can wipe everything away are we together so you see that most of the problems in the body of Christ is not ignorance, it's imbalance. The inability to bring and piece together the, very, the various components of spiritual truth as it is needed. So for instance, someone who has been called into the area of say kingdom wealth, finances, prosperity, mental development, administration, chances are excellent that that person may not easily have a rich prayer and word life like someone who is called into the prophetic ministry it is up to that man now to admit the grace that was given to that other and add to his spiritual experience to balance it up but if i'm getting results and i'm rich and i'm having cars and businesses around the world i can look at the prayer warrior and, and say oh dear this frustrated and suffering people the only demon is just the one in your mind you see those statements already naturally the effect of that kind of imbalance is everybody under your mentorship will be an accelerator of that imbalance are we together now yes if I stand here and hate all the men of God in Enugu state and now begin to point fingers and say forget about this one everybody who loves me and believes in me will be forced to follow that it's like politics if a politician comes and says don't like this person the people who are loyal to him will follow suit it's the same principle is someone learning now yes but if I come and I say God has granted you the grace for prayer and intercession even though I have prospered I see that I'm not excelling in that dimension but God wants me to be entire so with humility and honor I recognize and acknowledge you as carrying that grace honor is the key for access and you who is a prayer warrior but you are broke and poor and you are not going anywhere so you also will you get what I'm saying now yes you are a prayer warrior but to travel and carry your family from one location to the other you have to pray and fast to get there that's not the purpose of fasting you just need to access the knowledge for wealth that saves you all that drama now if you don't recognize that other person's ministry you will continue to burden yourself with things that are not the keys for that door the body of Christ must grow to maturity to a place of mutual honor for the diversities of graces scattered within the body and with humility receive those graces are we together you can look at a man of God and see how much he has opened to receive the diverse graces in the body of Christ by how complete and balanced and entire he or she is so if for instance you see me come here and you find out that I love the Lord sincerely but then you see that maybe um, I don't seem to value the ministry of prayer immediately 
it tells you the area where I've not opened up my spirit to tap into that grace. Or you can be a word giant, you can be a prayer warrior, but there is no character whatsoever. No honor to fathers, no honor to people. You are the God of yourself. Immediately you will know that there is a dimension of grace given to somebody in the body for my benefit that I have ignored. I'm saying this especially for younger ministers as God is raising as many who are here. Do not get into that deception of antagonizing people. No, 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 no. No, you do that, you are already dead on arrival. I can assure you. Hallelujah. Some of the people who have prayed for me and imparted several graces upon my life are not even popular people. Some of them are ordinary people. Some of them are mothers. A mother with 12 children who are well behaved. You think that is just motherhood? There is an anointing on that woman. To raise seven boys and five girls and none of them is a thief. All of them are leaders. No. You would be foolish to imagine she was just a lucky mother. You can tap into that grace and say I am a man of God and I want well behaved members and with honor she can release that grace upon you and you will find out that the, the lapse of stubbornness because you have honored that dimension heaven will back it this honor closes the access to receive so many things many people today are poor and broke because they have downplayed the relevance and the power of prosperity and wealth in the well-being of your life and kingdom advance to their detriment. Are we together now? Yeah. Many people are weak spiritually today because every time they see people engage in the ministry of prayer for their edification and transformation, they just say, don't mind these guys. These are just ignorant fanatics. These are just young boys. Unfortunately, you see, this is a battle in the body of Christ where there will be no winner. Mm -mm. Until we get to a point where we accept and admit. See, most times, let me tell you the truth, through confession, when I travel to many regions, because of the joy of hoping that I'm coming, you know, people are around and people do all kinds of wonderful things just to appreciate what they believe God is doing in my life. And sometimes, when I get to those meetings, I see several pastors, veterans of the gospel within that place. And some of them, you can see that um, they are sincere people. But you can see that thing, um, you know, it just looks like, well, we are not really doing anything. You are the one who is, you are the man of God. We have come to honor you. I am always very quick to let them know that it has never and will never be my drive. You will never see me do that. I will never come into a city and downplay the presence of the graces. Can I tell you, please look at me. Every one of you seated here who is serving God in any capacity, from your small prayer group of 12 people, to your little church of whatever, to the giant church, all together, we are contributors to making this thing happen. And it is important for us to recognize it. This is why I honor your fathers of faith with all my life within this region. Because these are people who have been veterans in the gospel. Many of them have been in the ministry of the gospel before some of us were born. And yet they, they, they are able to take away that, that, that justifiably. Even if they don't attend to us as their sons, they are justified by reason of their track record. And yet they stoop down to do some of the things that they do. Are we together? There are many people who come to meet me. Some of them campus people. Some of them young ministers who are just starting. And you know, they come to me and they say, well, apostle, we are just here. And I said, don't do that. Honor me. Thank God for it, but not at the detriment of the grace of God upon your life. God is raising you and you are a mighty battle axe. Never lose that confidence. If I have to make you give up your confidence and what the Holy Spirit is doing to show me honor, I'm deceiving you. No. There are many greater than Joshua Selman's coming home. There are many people who are being walked upon by the Spirit. My goodness, I have met people in this body of Christ, Ba. Forget the decadence that you see happening. 
the kind of army God is preparing, these people would not be like ordinary human beings. And the earlier we honor them, when you see people rising and you look down on them and they still rise, you are in trouble. Are we together? I'm saying this, maybe somebody here, maybe a campus fellowship president, maybe you're a pastor. Once you see God helping people under your care, don't kill them, guide them. Guide them. Are we together? When I sit with any of the fathers and I'm listening to them, I don't go as a man of God and I say, okay, talk to me. No, with my heart open and sincere before God because there are many things I do not know. He's not a man of God just trying to be humble. He's the truth. Are we together? Seven deadly sins. So these are the things that I shared. You want to go and get the teaching, the purified church. Please get it. Listen to it. And let it bless you you can use it for your retreat and you trust god to help you in jesus name we're going to pray this morning if you don't love prayer here is your chance to receive that grace in the name of jesus but it's important just like we have said we should take some time at least to pray and trust god for the grace to stretch a bit um it's going to be a very simple charge this morning and um my focus is on ministry ministers of the gospel even though it is for everyone remember i told you that part of any apostolic conference like this is the strengthening of the ministers the average person in enugu and the southeast will be a reflection of the quality of spiritual voices that mentor and train them hallelujah if there is a general laxity to spiritual things the spiritual voices within the land are to be blamed. The men and women of God within any territory are responsible for institutionalizing God consciousness and passion for the things of God. For every one of you seated here, there are some of you who represent 1,000 members, 500 members, 200 members. Some of you represent 10 20 50 leaders who are also captains over others so talking to you is talking to the city are we together when jesus was talking to 12 men he knew that he was not just talking to 12 human beings he was talking to people who were independent systems and they carried those ideologies and and perpetuated those ideologies across the lands so it is very very important for us to understand this mystery and the Lord will grant us grace in Jesus' name. Every once in a while, I'm going to ask us to pray. And I hope that we do not mind. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's pray in the spirit for at least a few minutes. And then I will charge our hearts. And then we will pray again. And then I will charge our hearts. Elohim Madonai Kato Shabranda Kaskoti Balahasiata Embra Kato Shkalabrati Gabariato Skati Bredeke de Balasi Shabrandeke Balaka Sotobrandeke de Balakusia Mande Brato Skalibra Tashkele Gredeke de Balakato Sabriata Kosia Shala barada bende kato sobra diga da balianda proskia. Sada bende kato sh. Embra daga da baratos kalika brande ga baratos kia da la barusia. Someone is praying. Shana bende kato bende kato skala brande ga baratos kalibre diga bal. Shade bende kato sh. Abranda ga barakatos skala brande ga baratos keviata. Shadi baleketos kapranda gabarakos kalibrande gebalas. Shadi 
Sebagata Paracus Calabrande Gebaratus Cadiata Shali Sadi Malasco da Brandi Gebaracus Calibrande Gebaratus Yata Embra Pacatus Calabrande Gebaracus Cadia Balados Sada Belega de Bos Scada Baranda Scada Brandi Gebaratus Calia da Bos Kada prince, kadi balakus, kadi prende ke balakus ya ta. Engre de ke balana kus, ala kras kade belegos. Shade bana kata prende ke de belega da bus, kada prana kada balada ba. Shaka ta para katus kale pras kade la ba shada prata skote beledia. Embra kata para da ba kata prende ke de de belega tus kadi ba. Shade bana kata prende ke de balaka tus sopron tus skote para tus kade prende ke de. Shali sasia ta para da skade balaka ta pras kote ya. Embra kata para da ba kade prende ke skote pros skote balas skote ve. Shade be shake te para da ba kata prende ke de balaka tus skote prende ke para tus ya ta. Embra kata para da balaka ta prende ke de balaka tus. Shada baranda bagada braska debeles kodo brondo skodo balaka tafras ya debeladus. Imbra gada barata skade brende kapasha la bada bada. Para gada bagata fras kada balanta skade breska debeleketa. Masha bagata shabaras kada barada bagata brende gade belekos. Imbra kata para kata fras kade beleketos. Mega debeles kos kadi balas kade brende skana ba. Medesh kada shada bas kadi bala atabrandes kadi bala siata. Shabra sada bala kada brande kade belaketos. Kebrande kade bras kade belaketos kodo brande kade belaka. Embra kata baranda sase kade belaketa bros kodo bala. Magia teka tos kali embria akata shadi abada. Mega debrande kade belaka tekto saba kada brande kade belaka tapa karonya. Magata barada balaka da brande kaska da balaka tosh imbra kata baras kada brande kaka bras kodo baliata mega da bras kada shada balas kadi balanda shkala barandos kodo balaka tosh mega da skada balaka da bras kada balaka da baka to braka tia meta shodo baka to braka da skada balada braka da balaka tosh Hey, shalas ke shalabasa sege de bele da brande skodos. Ebra kata barotos kodo frege de bele katos kodo brianda katos. Meke de bras kada balaga da brande ge de bele ge de brande skade bia. Haria shada balada baraka da brande sabra ge de bele ge de bros kodo baliga ta. Mende brande skodo balanda skale ve shada bas ge de. Ebra kata barada balaka da brande ge de bele ge de brande katos sege de bas. Nendos kodo shali barus kadia, mes kodo brondos kodo brende ge berendos koli branda. Shaga da balaga da bakata branda ga da balaka to sabri ge de. Imbra kata balata breska de beleke to skia da balata. Make sure you are praying. Shade bende ge de brende ge de balaka ta branda ga da braska de bele de balaka dia da balados. Shade bele ge de branda ska da balaka ta braska de reka de balada. Embra kata baranda ska de baris ka de branda ga baratos ka de ka de branda ge de balada. Shala da ba ge de braska de bele ge de branda ga de balaka to sa da braska de balada ba ka to siata. Shala barada ga de frage de bele ge to ska de bele de ba. Embra kata baras ka de braska de balada ba ka sko de bele ge to. Makash kada barande, ebra kada baraka tos kodo brende ke frende ke debele kus. Sene bele debele kada frende kada balakus ya. You're edifying your spirit man. Shala des ke debele, shala ke debes ke debele. Ebra kada baras kada frende ke balaka tos kadi ba. Shale sabaranda skali kada braka tos skali. Embra kada bras kadi bara tos kodo frande skali ba. Shale de bara kade bala kade bras kade bala kade bala kade bala kade bala kade bala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Now, please listen. 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 The primary assignment of prayer is not for receiving petitions. No. The primary assignment of prayer is found in Luke chapter 9 and verse 29. The Bible says, and as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment became white and glistening. That means prayer is a spiritual mechanism that helps you evolve to superior spiritual dimensions of yourself. Are we together? That when you submit yourself with understanding to the ministry of prayer, among the many things that happen to you is an energizing. You are activating and expanding your capacity in the spirit. We are still going to pray for a few more minutes. You are not wasting your time. Because you see, the amount of oil that you carry that works for you will be directly related to the capacity of the vessel carrying it. If it is a little cruise of oil, then you will find out that you will shortchange the potential of the grace that works within you. So as we pray, forget no looking around, focus on Jesus. And for some of you, while you are praying, what is happening to you is an impartation of the grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication. It's not just something that is mechanical. If that grace is not upon you, you will struggle and struggle indeed. For some of you, you need to shift this dimension of grace and add it to your assemblies that in addition to what God has helped you to do, you need to add to this. The Bible says, add to your faith this. Add to this, this. Go ahead and pray. Pray in the spirit. Salabaranda Ketex Kota Barash, Ebraka Barakatosa Preke de Belegatos Keti Balanda Bas. Pray, Shedebegate Bakata Praska de la Kato Shabad, Embratas Kiba Salabaradia. Oh 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 Shadabadekadebekata Mete Pretekat 
Higher dimension, say at the spirit of the Lord. Higher dimension, say at the spirit of the Lord. For I am opening up the gates. I am opening up the gates. The gates. The gates. I am opening up the gates. Embria ata shadi gada tata mega pras kada balikata manto prodo koto prekete balakato prekete batia shada balakata prekete balakata shada balakata prekete balakata balakata prodo koto balakatos evra katos kati prendeke balakos yata balatos. Ela barada balakata prada kata balakata sala kata prada kata balada balada ba sala bada bada balada ba sena na balia na bada bada ba sada bada bada kata balada ba she prada kata balako soro bada ba bara bada balaba bada ba e mana na mana se de balada bara kata bara ba kapra ta ba kata prada kata balada ba embra kata bara da balakata prada kata balada do not be drunk with wine wherein in excess. But be ye filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart to the Lord. Press for a few more minutes. Expand your capacity in the Spirit. Salakata praska de balakatos, embra kata barakata praska de belakata, sakretska de bele, embra kapa rakata prande kadesh, lakata praska de bakato prande kapata, ma prapa da barakata praska de bele kade pras, ekrata kade bele katos koto prande kade balakata. He speaking parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint, ought always to pray and not to faint. Sada belakata bras kata balada bada shada brande kata embra kata baratos kadi bratiasha rise in prayer advance in prayer ascend in prayer shali kata belakata explore virgin dimensions in the spirit even in the place of prayer rekata bada katos kote brande kaparusiata. In Gratos Kadeba Lakatos Kadevrata Kadeba Lakatos There is an ascendance happening to you in the spirit. You are praying under the influence of a grace. Radega barakas kote brenda kate leko sotiata e prakata barata sopra kate beleka tos mande prateka skata leka ta frakata siata.
Just a few more minutes. The flesh may be weak, but the spirit is definitely willing. Willing for you to rise. Willing for you to access power with God. raising mighty men in this place God is raising men of fire in this place God is raising men of power in this place and he won't stop he won't stop till you look just like him he won't stop no he won't stop Till my life looks like him He won't stop So I won't stop Till my life looks like him He won't stop He won't stop Hallelujah Hallelujah I want to pray for you before you sit Hallelujah. My heart has been stirred to just pray a prayer for you and then we'll sit down and charge ourselves. You see, please look at me. There is a kind in every life, there is a kind in every territory that does not go except by prayers. He said, This kind, this kind, this kind, this kind of mountain, this kind of problem, this kind of evil this kind of limitation this kind does not go except by prayer i want to release a grace that will stir up watchmen and watchers upon your land there are people who must access that mantle and that grace even this morning for a land that is barren of men and women who understand the art of the altar is a land that will be a place of invasion for darkness i'm praying for you now i want you to bring out those people for me in the name of jesus i stretch my hands and i pray by the power that raised christ from the dead the mantle of the watcher after the order of anna the prophetess may that grace rest upon you now take that grace now take that grace now please bring them out in the name of jesus i release that grace upon you men and women in the name of jesus christ the spirit of intercession the spirit of prayer the grace to travel for territories for nations for churches and for families i impart that grace upon you bring them out in the name of jesus just gently help them so you don't injure them please whether you are an usher or not just help those i want to pray for them Hallelujah. 
Take me into the holy of holies Take me in by the blood of the Lamb Take me in to the holy of holies Take a cold, touch my lips, here I am Take the cold, touch my lips, here I am there are many of you who will pray revivals upon the southeast pray revival upon your territory again i'm praying for you may that man to find you may that grace find you oh daughter of zion oh son of the kingdom may that grace find you right now as i pray for you may that man to rest upon you man of prayer after the order of elijah in the name of jesus christ may that grace rest upon you after the order of elijah By this prayer ministry, God will be taking away shame and reproach from many, many people's lives. Don't be distracted. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace undeniable. No need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything Oh, may my Oh, may my You don't have a cloth or something There should be people with that kind Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Bring this gentleman for me. This man, come. I don't know who this gentleman is, but you will be mightily used by God. Mightily, mightily used by God. There is a very strong grace upon this gentleman. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I pray for you. May this grace rest upon you. I shift you to dimensions in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be a new season. I lift up the lead from your life and in the name of Jesus, begin a season with the Spirit that will announce you to the nations. In the name of Jesus, one prayer and then we'll be seated. Whether you are in front here or you are there, Lord, in this end time, use me. I am available. Someone pray. Someone pray. I submit to the dealings of the spirit. I am available. I am available. In the name of Jesus for all of you who are out here I pray for you the grace that will grant you the ability to endure the dealings of the spirit until you emerge as men and women of fire I release that grace upon you now 
in the name of Jesus particularly for those of you in front I stretch my hands may that grace be activated from within your spirit man in the name of Jesus Christ that it will not just be a show that you came out under the anointing and then return back and nothing changes indeed let this be a new season by the spirit of grace for in Jesus name we pray please be seated those who can go to their seats help them those who are under the anointing just just let them when they are fine they can stand up my head thou was exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil your head he has anointed like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil bring two people for me who will run out under the anointing now please help them so they don't injure themselves it's the spirit of grace there is a kind of consecration God is bringing them into my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn I am anointed with fresh oil oh, 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 oh. just leave them where they are we'll speak over them in the name of Jesus please don't be distracted there is an activity of the spirit happening here this is how men are made this is how men are made i'm seeing fire coming on the head of two people just two people that fire blazing fire coming upon their heads hey. the refiner's fire have the miracle service in the night and I will pray for you but there is someone who is receiving this is not a fresh impartation it came before but for some reason something happened to your life a strange order of the healing grace that healing grace that healing grace it had come before but something happened i'm praying this from the depth of my heart the fire that brings healing to the nation My friend, the gentleman wearing the maroon cloth, lift your hands. I'm seeing oil come on you. Let it be a new season for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you and I pray that by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord is opening a new page in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God, so let it be for you. So let it be for you. So let it be for you. Please sit down. Our time is gone. So I'm just going to give you a 10 or 15 minutes charge. 
and then we are done for this morning session or thereabout I want you to be sensitive because many impartations are going to be happening God is strengthening the hands of the vessels the men and the women of God one of you among you people wearing white in front I'm seeing fire coming on one there's one of you right now as I'm speaking I just saw that light hello Madonna Madonna Father be glorified let no flesh glory in your presence in the name of Jesus Christ pray and ask the Lord to speak to you in one minute Father speak to me in Jesus name just to share a thought with you and we'll be ready who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen amen Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen, amen. Scriptures of Zotas from the book of Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, to the new dimension. Amen, 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 amen. And amen, 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 amen. As you have listened to this message, amen, 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 amen. The blessings there are, if you are to these words as well, that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your heart. Are going to be fixed on this amen, amen, and as you have been blessed, we will tell you to amen. share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed, and then the subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads Christ. of videos, we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed, that is going to set you on course, that is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.